Hey, it's Unleashed Bread here. Just got this new uh, Demon Souls game. I finished up my Peggle live stream earlier, but I thought I'd give this one a try. I heard it got some good reviews. This guy Gwine, he uh, he's one of the first enemies of the game. He's pretty easy, but uh, hopefully it gets better from here. We'll see where this takes us. So I think I found the first uh, challenging boss fight. You have to go down these stairs and look for the guy with the anvil. Don't listen to him though, he's actually in a scheme to rob you. So I threw the first punch and now he's fighting back. And in his stupidity, he doesn't look behind him and grab one of those hundred weapons off the wall. He's throwing fists at me. And uh, he thinks he can win, he really does. And he actually did win. This is just amazing. This is what I'm talking about. You know, I gotta give props or props or do. This, uh, this guy after you defeat him, he gives you an option to become a traveling NPC with you. And it just blew my mind, you know. I've heard that Dark Souls elevates what a boss should be. And, uh, this is just too awesome. We'll see how long he lasts. I wouldn't advise you to pick him, actually, because he sucks, but, uh, pretty cool. Wow, yeah, this guy was way better in that Star Wars game that came out. Now these guys are the Bell Gargoyles. Now they're not hard, you just gotta get behind them with this, and uh, pretty easy. But it got me thinking that there's gotta be a real tough boss around here, somewhere. So I climbed this ladder, rang this bell. Now for what reason? No clue. Came back down this ladder, and boom, here's the real boss. Pretty easy. It is at this precise moment that I realized that the backstabbing mechanic is integral to the combat system of this game. Yeet! So as often as I could, I went and shoved my sword into whatever would let me, and it proved to be a very successful tactic. I journeyed throughout the land, really expecting more of a challenge, to be honest, but it really just wasn't happening, until it got to the swamp area. To this point, I had not died a single time, but I wanted to see if it was possible for me to go to the Minecraft website and download a Minecraft in the time that it took for my poison effect to kill me. Let's see what happens here. Alright guys, I'm here making a tutorial video on how to download Minecraft. First thing you gotta do is type in Minecraft to your search bar and then press enter. Uh, you might have to look a little bit, but it should be the first thing. Here we go, Minecraft.com. Um, what we're gonna do is purchase Minecraft. So you just click this big green button right here and it'll take you to the next page. Now there's a lot of options, but pick PC for Windows, and then um, the Java edition, and then you can click Buy Minecraft. And it asks you to plug in some personal information, so you might have to get your mom's credit card to get this part done. But you create a username, I chose Unleashed Bread, just to keep it in theme with my YouTube channel. And uh, it'll ask you a bunch of questions, but you should be fine. Just keep that credit card near you. And as many of you already may or may not know, Minecraft, a little background, it's kind of like this open world uh, RPG game. It has a really tough combat system, but really good level design. I feel like I just like, go into a new world every time, and it's just this whole brand new place to explore. But it's really great design. Um, the graphics are really good. Probably the best graphics I've ever seen in a video game. And I really think you guys should get it and play with me. Okay, credit card info. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two. There we go. And then, date. 
go purchase complete so ladies and gentlemen that's how you buy minecraft you click this big green button and then click install and you're good pretty easy but i carried on and explored this beautiful and often uplifting world and killed some really awesome bosses along the way now every corner there's a new guy to kill every corner there's a new guy trying to kill you it's just fantastic yet the final boss remained living in his disgusting lair at the bottom of the abyss i plunged into the depths ready to take on the task at hand it wouldn't be easy but i knew i needed to do it and so i plunged <laughs> Pretty easy.